All right. Here are spectating duos. Shotgun, because I'm not a bitch. Go. Throw that. Make him push left. We're expecting duos today and watching teamwork and talking about how crucial it can be no matter how bad of a player you are. Because even if you're a shitter, if you have decent teamwork, you can win games. I've had games where I've dropped one kill and just been completely shitted on because I'm playing bad that game for whatever reason. And we can still win because, well, my teamwork's there and so is the strategy and rotations. We've got Sub-Zero looking at tennis shoes. Y'all wonder why I like duos more than quads? Because this is... All right, that's interesting. It's a waste of UAV only because his teammate came from here, I would assume. Um, and he's got a portable on him. So I wouldn't have used that UAV, but it is what it is. Use them if you want. I like to use UAVs if I'm either A, pushing an area I think has players, which hot drops, you're not ever going to really have people around here. Or B, I'm actively getting shot at. Or I'm taking a zip, being C. That's really about it. Here we are. Money. What are we doing? Terrell. You got dope in your name, brother, but I'm gonna be honest, you're not coming across as much dopeness. Coming across as a little bitch. I'll be I'll be honest. We'll say good observation seeing the enemy there, which is surprising. I didn't expect that from your bullet. Okay. Now we are separated, but we do have the enemy pinched. Sub zero going to the high ground. We're sitting on the low ground. There's two options money can do. He can charge in, in, into that area and possibly get one V2'd. Or we can wait for our teammate to go in, and as he goes in, we can flank with him. Okay, we've got him cracked. Sub-Zero looks like he wants to push in. And again, we can't see what's on his map from the portable because it's a spectating glitch. I want to point that out again because hacker hunters like to say that they're cheating. It's a fucking glitch. It's been like that for two years. It's nothing new. Welcome to Warzone. So again, like I said, I want to push in with Terrell for this exact reason here. I love the fact, I'm being sarcastic, that we're not even looking around. We're just watching him crawl to us. If he gets knocked, I fully anticipate to get pushed. Y'all saw my face before he climbed the ladder, right? Like, that was, that was a wild notion. You heard him land up there. I will challenge people on rooftops. I will. We get killed half the time. It's stupid, but I will. He didn't have plates. That man got up and just crawled to his death. So this is a very, this is a team that wants to get in fights, but the moment they're outnumbered or they feel pressure, they panic. Now, Mooney clearly is, uh, I wouldn't say a newer player, but he's not really there fundamentally. And we need to prep for a regain because I don't think Terrell's going to win his fucking gulag. I would start prepping. To get my ass to the bio station, getting out of here. One, the odds of an enemy coming in here is very slim. Two, if they do come in here and there's two of them, you're going to get fucking shit on if they come through that door. Suppression mine might scare them to the left, but they're not going to scare them that direction. You're probably going to get killed. Now, Green needs to be pinging enemies as he sees them floating in. He doesn't ping shit. And he is about to fucking die. Good job catching the enemy. Not really sure why we ran back inside. I would have chased that. Oh, precision. Just kidding. You got the alert. JK. That's why I didn't push it. Smart. Smart. Now, I don't really like this gun for close range because you're really putting yourself in a bad spot. If he would have had an HMR9 or any kind of SMG that was worth the shit and hit his shots, he would have had us killed. The ADS delay on that fucking long range gun is not the greatest and will put you in a disadvantage. I don't even know what his long range really was. We've got enemies running up the hill right now. I don't know if they've seen it or not, but we need to go ahead and start fucking trying to push this because if they get their load out before we can really get closer to them, don't shoot at them. I had a feeling, bro. Don't shoot at them, my guy. We've got to get to our loady. They have clearly their weapons. They have the high ground and they're technically in a position they can camp our load out. Now that they know we're here, well, guess what? We're probably going to fucking die. They did have another, it looked like they were looking at another team, so they might get distracted, which could save us, but still fucking wild notion to begin with. Good job smoking. They are fighting. We see them over here on the bridge, so I would definitely push up to this, at least get line of sight on what the hell's going on, and maybe get an easy pick. Now, we can assume the enemy jumped off, but this bridge does dip, and I just want to make sure, I would like to check the right side of the bridge just to be sure. 
that he can't shoot us in the side. All right, good teamwork there. We're being shot at. You don't want to go for it. Oh, God. I mean, okay, you don't want to commit to it. Don't stay up and do it, but you can definitely go down and peek up somewhere else and get a quick shot off, which is what I would have done and gotten the XE. Now, Turrell's pushed into a 1v2, and he's got no Plato's, and he's probably going to fucking die. Precision coming in as well. And now here we are in a position where we've got two teams above us in the high ground, but we can still kind of third party this. Another precision. Not going to gripe. Positive vibes only. But our job right now is to try to get the rooftop to get the high ground and get in a better line of sight on the enemies. All right, decent gunfight from Mooney. I was not expecting to see that from a player that just likes to camp. Now, do you see what he's doing right now? He's sitting in the bathroom plating up. You don't want to do this ever, no matter what. He didn't die, but again, if it would have been, a, if I would have been this dude's teammate, I would have busted in there and tried my best to shit on these guys. You need to be moving. Work your way upstairs while plating. Jump out the windows. Keep your body going. Our teammate goes down. He's fucking dead because we were just sitting here staring at nothing. And once again, we need to get a regain. We've got the money. We've wasted our only smokes to not even smoke the buy station, which is crazy. But luckily, they weren't even looking. Now, the enemies on this building are wild for this because look at the line of sight they have. They were here. We know they were here. I think there's a team here as well. So the moment they saw the smokes go out, they should have been looking at the buy, but for whatever reason they weren't. And now we're crouch walking. Love it. Oh, oh, catch him out. Catch him. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You don't need to snipe that. You you have you have no. no you, you could SMG that guy. He was pretty close. He's out in the open. Hey, you're you're risking flinch, which is what happened. You're risking the fuck out of it. That was crazy. Not to mention, he didn't he didn't even play back. If you're gonna snipe, at least fucking fall back. You're sitting right there in the doorway, vulnerable to even his teammate. Even though he didn't even shoot us, you're still vulnerable to that dude. And he dies. Moving on to another team, Captain Murka. Or Captain Murr, I don't know. Captain Murr, there it is. Things pronounced money. Nope, he's, he said it, he spelled Mooney. I don't know what to tell you. This is wild. Why are we? Oh, okay, I thought this was the same team. I, I, duh, it's a different squad. He's laying on his shit, just kidding. Now, landing on your loot's always ballsy, especially if it's on the edge of gas. You can't really... I, I would have done it, too. would have made the same play. Now, the enemy was in the open. We should have hit our shots and downed him right there. If we would have knocked him, even with the ram, which is definitely possible, it would have been a 1v1 and you could play your life. But unfortunately, he missed a lot of shots and just got down. Moving on to Diesel and Ze Zexy. You're going to be telling me that's, that means Zesty, right? But again, I'm not mad that he landed on his loot. It's a risky business every time. You're this 50 shot, you're going to fucking die. But the enemy was in the open, bro. He was vulnerable. We should have had that. We had the wall we could play. That was that was unfortunate. Um, and also, I want to talk about this buy station. The gas is coming in, but we have a minute to go to the buy. And we are sitting on $17,000. I don't care how many kills they have or how good they are, dude. I want a UAV. I want to know what the end game is going to look like. Where are people placed at? You can use it now. You can use it later. Regardless, though, I want a UE. And look, this fight right here, unnecessary. All we're going to do is tell people where we're at. I'm glad he didn't take it, but I'm still going to point it out. Sitting up there shooting at enemies that far. If you knock them, you're gonna you're gonna down them at best. They're gonna res. There's no reason to really take it. I like the fact we're closing the gap, but the reason why you don't want to take it is because you will get third party by another squad. Uh, are we not gonna get beamed up the fucking sky? Okay, we're on the low ground, which is risky, but we're able to hit the shot now that we hit it. We need to push this. It's a one. Oh, okay. We knocked him, which would have given me time to push. I know there's another sniper, but I still want to push that fucking zip. Like Diesel is. Now that we've clustered, Diesel has to push by himself. We can't really do anything. The cluster, I think, was just the biggest mistake that they that he made. He almost downed himself. And they still won the fight, though. But again, even if they win fights, there's always smarter and better ways to take it. That one knock is that crucial moment where it's like, now nah, I can go in. And Diesel just fucking soloing everything. Now, again, as a sniper, bro, we do this dumb shit all the time. Try your best not to sit out in the open sniping at bitches. This enemy running left inside. Good observation. Great shot. We can close in on this. I don't know if he killed his teammate or not. Guy landing on us. Switch it to his weapons. Go back to Zexy, and he's able to easily get a kill. I'm down to land on enemies. I am. I, you'll see me do it a lot. And again, 50-50 shot, I'm dying. But that's just, that's fucking nuts. You don't have your weapons. Why are you landing on this dude? Why are you doing it? Go for a regain. You've got two buys here. You've got a buy 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 here. You've got a buys everywhere. Get your teammate back, brother. 
right now we have a terrain difference, right? This is gonna be an awesome spot should this area get favored. This is where you'd wanna work to. But don't wanna rotate right now because we'll find out in the next 43 seconds where the circle needs to go. That's when it's gonna enclose. And then we can rotate. So I tell you guys a lot, don't overstay, move on. But when you're waiting for the next zone to identify, they'll tell you I need to go here, here, here. That's when you kinda wanna just pause, wait 60 seconds, and then move on. I've right, got enemies above us. Fuck that chopper. We got enemies next to us, brother, and you're just over here just creaming on choppers. Um, there's enemy footsteps next to us, too. That is not just our teammates' footsteps. Someone's close, and he knows it, too. Could you imagine if audio was this good the entire time Warzone 3 and Warzone 2 and even Warzone was out? Oh, so much better now. Still needs work, but it's so much better. And this is why I said don't rotate. Look at the zone. I mean, it's just, it's great. Now, this is still a good position to get to. However, if you go here and you play this hill, even if you play the backside, you risk getting shot by guys in this compound. If you play the other side, you risk getting shot by these guys, these guys, these guys. So I would not play this hill, even though it's kind of where I'd rather be because he's got too many people going to be trying to get to you. Way too many. And there's really no cover up here. Because again, if you go to one side, you worry about them. If you go to the other, vice versa. I would definitely stay here and kill these thoughts. Yeah, fuck this dude up. Easy beams. Mm. Mm. That's a waste. Yeah, he crawled inside the room right there. I mean, and with that room right there, bro, that's just, that's a wild notion. All right, they're gonna push in this building and that's fine, dude. If it, oh. Nice, nice window jump. All right, all right, good play. All right. Another another enemy. Sliding, he's under us, ground level. Uh-oh, bomb drone coming in. Go, 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 Rod, bitch! Oh, it made noise like it was coming in. Bomb drone said, nah, never mind, not a good kill. That was, that was reaction time and a half. Now, the reason why I wasn't wanting to come down here is for this right here. When enemies want to get safe, they have a tendency to close in, right? And we have a guy clearly here, and you have no idea who's camping what building. So leaving our high ground to chase kills is fucking crazy play, but I do respect it. I would keep my ass up top, though. But he's fucking, he's balling out, so I ain't gonna tell him nothing. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Gotta play smarter, not harder, boys. No matter how good you are, no matter what your game plan is, man, play your life, dude. We have position. Hill's, Hill's gonna be the spot, bro. Hill's gonna be the spot. The guys over here really kinda got blessed. If they can clean up everything around them and play this hill, dude, which I don't think there's gonna be too many teams. You've got three teams we know of here. Well, now two teams since they died. Um, you have a team that's popped up over here and they're fighting probably another squad. So I think these guys are gonna control the game. Because even if you're playing these rooftops, they got a line of sight for days. And if they get shot at, they can fall back. Just depends on where the next zone goes, to be honest. Now your boy Kevin rocking 11, and then you've got your boy Mori rocking 7, another good squad. Working their way up. Good snipe. Gotta watch that hill to the right. That's gonna be my my biggest focal point sitting right here will be that hill. Now, technically, it's not a this is probably the best area because we get clustered precision. We can go inside. We have line of sight on everything around us, so we can kind of be the most aggressive team. But it's gonna come down to the next zone, which does favor us. So we're sitting actually hella pretty right now. There's really no reason to move. Good crack, throw an aid. I'd cook it a little bit. Yeah, I would cook it a little bit more to the right or even closer, just in case it rotates, because it's not gonna. All right, here we have another player who has a good spot pushing down, trying to be a badass, and it cost him his life. That's the second time. Guys, you got... I love the aggression, but when it comes to end game and you're so close to Sweet Justice, you need to slow it the fuck down. Stop being Rambo, dude. Now's not the time. I don't care how bad you think the guy is or not. All right, luckily your boy had a flare and he's able to come back on his shit. I want to get back to the rooftop to, again, check hill and check enemies on green. We could work to the next building, but this one's safe, so I don't really see a reason to leave this yet. 
You could, because the circle will close in eventually, and you will have to rotate to it, but this is a really good building to fight at. Enemies below us as well. Yeah, Kevin's shooting at him right under us. Mori working down on another angle right now. Let's go see what your boy... All right, Kevin got the kill. All right, good fight. I cleaned it up. Cleaned it up. Now a 2v2v1 situation. Again, get the high ground. Gas will close in, so we'll have to... Oh, shit. It rotated in favor of the other building. So gas closed in, so we will have to rotate. And while they're all smoked up, while they're all distracted with people, this is the time I would go. And again, I'd want to get rooftop, but if you take that zip and get roof, bro, and there's a guy laying in front up there, ah, just get ready to hit square and jump the fuck off of this. Called it. Right? It's just simple things like that. And that, that's pretty obvious, but we see so many times players commit to that shit as in the first team we were spectating. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I would have held on to that and waited for the guys to rotate and then pre, pre did this shit. Now look, there's really nowhere for us to pre rotate. Roof has elevation on all of this. So if we leave too early, we're fucked. We have to win these fights and we have to do it now and we have to do it together. So I do not mind us stacking. I would use gas play to take the fucking rooftop too. That rooftop player is really kind of the scariest, even though I think he's solo. Again, play the gas mask. We have smokes as well. You know there's going to be enemies to our left. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, GG's. What's crazy is a lot of the mistakes that the teams we were spectating made, this team made a few of them too, which shows you how common they are. And they also did the opposite. For example, the zip play again. When he went up the zip, the first guy went up the ladder, just fucking died, right? No jump off, no peek, no nothing. Just fucking committed and died. But him, he went up there and said, oh shit, bitch, hold the angle. And he jumped off. So big difference in decision-making, which shows you why they won the game and the first team did not.